Here we are at Soldiers Point, We're about to go out to Norstack to have a play. This is the new P&H Volan. They bought out the Virgo a little while ago, which is sort of supposed to be the plastic version of this. This is the glass version, the Volan, which is supposed to be very, very different to the Virgo. Um, I paddle the Virgo and I paddle this and that. I can agree that they are very different beasts. Um, this is a carbon composite boat. It's got all the usual features you'd expect in a P&H boat in terms of the fittings. They've got their front hatch cover here I opted for. Uh, they've moved the skeg slider now from the side to the top. I find that fine. Some people say you catch your hand on it, but I haven't had any problems with that. Uh, use a day hatch and oval hatch combination at the back. Um, and I've also had a keel strip put on it. So obviously with the uh, lightweight Kebler carbon infusion, it's a nice light boat. Um, I didn't think that would make a lot of difference, but actually it, it, it's easy to carry, obviously, and it does seem to be really sort of robust and stiff, which is great. So we have a look at the hull shape without damaging it, because it's, it's a new boat. It's got some uh, quite interesting features, actually. It's got this hard chime at the front, um, moving up towards the bow, a bit like the old Buccaneer, really. Um, and having paddled it, I thought they'd be a little bit twitchy at the front when you're breaking and breaking out um, because of that hard chime. But actually, it feels really solid once you put it on edge. That chime comes, it sort of smooths out here. It's got a usual sort of flat bottom, very similar to the Aries and to some of the other ranges. And then as you move back, again, it's got a good set of hard rails going all the way to the stern. My normal boat is the Aries and I find that's a bit twitchy at the back because of the, the low deck and, and it's got quite a hard rail here. This won't have him paddle it, it just feels really, really solid actually. Um, I've played in it quite a bit now and it, it doesn't catch at the back. It's got a bit more speed than I'm used to from the longer water line um, and it's got a really comfortable feel in the surf, etc. So for the four times I've paddled it, it's actually, I think it's a really, really nice boat. This is the uh, MV version. Um, they're going to be making an HV and LV eventually, but this is the first batch that's come out. Um, as we said before, it's got a nice big rocker on it, so it turns really well, and it's got a nice flat bottom, so it's nice and stable. Um, and then these rails, either end, grip, especially for surfing. We've just been surfing out in South Stack. Because this boat's very manoeuvrable, a bit like the Aries, I tend to use a little bit of skeg when I'm surfing um, just to lock the back in so I don't slide the back out when I'm trying to surf on the waves at um, the tide races. Um, the cockpit layout is really good. It's a little bit smaller cockpit than the Aries, so it's a little bit harder to get your, your feet in and out, but, but nothing too, too much of a problem. And then it's the 
the seat is the same sort of seating arrangement in it which is great because it's got the foam hip pads that you can remove so you can basically set yourself up in the boat so you're nice and snug um, and it's the same foot pegs as all the other boats which are adjustable from within the boat some people don't like them they reckon they pop out I've, I've had no problem with those at all um, uh, and they have nice big foot pegs so you can really yard off them when you're uh, for paddling or trying to um, edge or turn the boat. Um, so overall it's it's a pretty good performance day boat, doesn't need a lot of weight in it to be stable, designed to play but also go on a journey. So so far they've hit it hit really well with this one. So um, I think we're gonna go out and play a bit more in it to find out a bit more about it. Um, seat as well, you can adjust. It's set up for an average weight paddler. So I haven't really messed around with the seat much over the years. Yeah. The, only, the only thing I find a little bit is where they put the toggles for the uh, splits so the paddles fit neatly under where those two baubles are the only problem with that is it does cover up the day hatch a little bit with the where the blades end up so you have to slide them a little bit more forward um, so it does tend to scratch the boat so I need to put some foam on that so, so it fits well but it just covers up the little front hatch here I can see it as being a really good work boat with a bit more speed than the areas I've had in the past, uh, which means I can keep up as I'm getting older with all the people I'm paddling with. Um, but that again, a solid play thing. We're on a sort of start coaching um, in sort of moving water. So overall, I think done a really good job.